Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating an advanced particles animation here in After Effects without using any third party plugins. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video clips. In this tutorial we will be adding a variety of effects to create an ultra modern scene that will truly elevate the quality of your work to the highest level. So without any further ado, let's dive into After Effects and start creating. Alright, we're here in After Effects and as always let's create first a new composition. This is gonna be final, hit Ctrl plus N or this little icon. Type here final composition for the width and height let's go 9020 by 1080 30 frames per second and duration uh, leave whatever number you want I will leave it to around 10 seconds like usual. Hit ok and now let's create background go right click to create new solid layer this is gonna be background 9020 by 1080 also full HD and then hit ok. Now let's add our first effect go here in the facts and preset. And if you can't find the facts and presets, go here window and you will find the facts and presets here. Now type here for color gradient, drag and drop onto the background. And for the first three color, let's go pure black color, you can also use eyedropper. And for the fourth color, let's type this number 150, 600. Now hit OK and now it's time to create another solid layer, go right click to create new solid layer, I will rename this one to fractal noise, just F and hit OK, then go here again in the facts and preset, find fractal noise effect, drag and drop onto the layer, and here let's also make a few adjustments for the contrast, let's type here 600, for the brightness maybe around minus 25, ok. For the complexity leave it to around 6 and also let's animate evolution, hold alt on your keyboard and then left mouse click and I will type here time asterisk 100, ok. And for the next effect let's also add emboss, drag and drop onto the fractal noise and as you can see now we have this movement of our emboss and fractal noise effects. Now let's pre-compose fractal noise uh, solid layer. Go right click, pre-compose and then make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and this is gonna be background roughness and then hit OK. Now let's add first effect on the new composition, go here in the facts and preset, find Triton effect, drag and drop onto the background roughness, OK and for the highlights and mid-tones let's change color to maybe dark orange color or something like this, you can also use eyedropper, also change blending mode from normal to overlay and if you can't find blending mode just hit here toggle switches and modes. And now as you can see we have this uh, subtle emboss effect here in behind of our background. Now let's duplicate this background roughness, go on edit and then duplicate or hit ctrl plus D. Also what we can do is to change this highlights color to maybe different shade here, find maybe something like this. Also what we can do is to import Unsharp Mask effect, select both composition, go here in the Facts and Preset, find Unsharp Mask, double click, ok and for the amount let's go to around 250 and radius instead of 1 type here maybe to around 3. Ok now let's create another solid layer, go right click to find here new solid layer, this is gonna be particles 9020 by 1080 hit ok and now let's add our next effect go here in the facts and preset find cc particle world ok drag and drop onto the particle solid layer and let's also make a few adjustments here in this effect for this longevity option type here 7 instead of 1 ok now let's open up this producer option for the x position let's type here 0.05 Ok, for the Y position 0.42, ok, and for the radius X type here 1, also for the radius Y, for the radius Z type here 1.2, ok. Now let's open this uh, physics options and instead of this explosive option find here twirl, ok, for the velocity let's change here to 0.2, for the gravity type here minus 0. 
0.01 okay for the resistance instead of 0 type here 0 0.3 okay for the extra type here 50 also open up this particle options find here shaded sphere option and for the bird sides instead of 0 0.25 type here 0 0.11 copy this number and paste it here also to the depth size for the bird color change this one to maybe bright gray color hit ok and for that color let's change here to pure white color hit zero and now as you can see we have particles here on our solid layer now let's add our next effect this is gonna be simple choker and move it below the cc particle world effect okay and for the choke mat type here one hit zero in our finals and as you can see our animation is looking something like this okay in every moment you can go here later on to change parameters like x option radius and everything else now let's pre-compose the particle solid layer hit here then go right click pre-compose those are gonna be particles make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit ok now it's time to add more effects here, select this uh, particles composition, then go here in the facts and preset and find Triton effect, drag and drop onto the composition. And for the highlights, let's type here code 754A00 to get this shade of orange color, hit OK. And for the midtones, let's type here FF8A00. Hit OK and then let's also add another effect here, go in the facts and preset, find glow drag and drop onto the composition and for the glow threshold let's type here maybe 51 okay and for the glow radius instead of 10 type here 35 and for the glow intensity type here 1.3 now let's also change blending modes of the particles composition from normal to add hit t for opacity and change here visibility to around 70 percent okay now let's close this effects control for now and then let's duplicate this uh, particles composition here control plus d or go edit and then duplicate change blending mode from add to lighten hit also t for opacity type here 10 percent and now let's add a more effects here select this first particles hit f3 to show effects control again here and now let's add our next effect this is going to be cc vector blur drag and drop here in the effects control okay and for the amount let's go to around three okay now let's add our next effect this is gonna be turbulent displace okay drag and drop also on the composition like this and for the amount let's type here 3000 for the size let's type here five and now let's add our next effect this is gonna be also glow again drag and drop onto the composition and let's make a few adjustments for the glow threshold let's type instead of 60 percent type here 8 for the glow radius instead of 10 let's type here 225 and glow intensity 0 0.1 okay and for the final step let's add simple choker type simple choker here and then drag and drop onto the composition and for the choke mat type here 0 0.30 okay now let's duplicate this uh, particles composition once again hit ctrl plus d first let's change blending mode from light to normal hit also t for opacity instead of 10 type here 20 and then delete all effect under this vector blur effect turbulent displace glow and simple choker and now in our final scene when we hit zero we have an animation of our cool particles here in the finals and this is looking really cool okay now let's also create another solid layer here in the finals go right click to create new solid layer this is gonna be lens flare 1920 by 1080 also hit ok and then go in the facts and preset find field effect drag and drop onto the lens flare solid layer and this is important step to change color to pure black color because of blending mode later on hit ok and then also add lens flare effect okay drag and drop onto the solid layer and here let's also make a few adjustments for the lens type change here to 105 millimeters prime blend with original 40 percent and let's also add third effect this is going to be gaussian blur and for the blurriness let's type here 115 
Now let's change blending mode from normal to add and also hit here again on the lens flare and readjust the point to maybe upper right corner somewhere around here. This is looking cool to me. And for the final step hit S for scaling, I will do maybe to around 102 just to prevent this color bending on the edges. Now let's create a few adjustment layers, go right click to create new adjustment layer, this is gonna be light race, ok, and then go here in the facts and preset like usual and find light race effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And here let's also make a few adjustments. For the radius let's type here 60 and for the warp softness change here to 400. Also uncheck this option color from source and change color to this hexa code 930011. You can also play around with your colors but for me this is looking cool. Now hit here on this uh, light trace again and you can readjust point according your needs. I will do somewhere around here. Ok, I will close this effect control for now and let's also create a new adjustment layer, go right click to create new adjustment layer, this is gonna be noise, go here in the facts and preset, find noise effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer, uncheck this option use color noise and type here 2%. Now let's also create another adjustment layer, go right click to create new adjustment layer again, this is gonna be exposure. Ok, find here exposure in the facts and preset, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and for the exposure type here maybe 1. And also for our final step you can create another adjustment layer, this is gonna be camera lens blur but before that you can play around here with the exposure, maybe instead of 1 go to around 0.75 or according your needs. Go right click again, find here new adjustment layer, this is gonna be camera lens blur. If you don't have enough strong PC to support this uh, camera lens blur effect, just go and find Gaussian blur. I will do camera lens blur, ok, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and also let's create a mask here for this uh, effect, select this adjustment layer, go here on this uh, rectangle option, hold left mouse click, find ellipse tool and then just double click to create a mask for our adjustment layer. Now hit M to see the mask of the selected layer, to see the mask of the camera lens blur and then go just double click, you can reposition the mask of the adjustment layer and you can also turn on the titles and action save to better seeing boundaries of the adjustment layer, I will go somewhere around here, also for the right side somewhere around here and also hit here option inverted and for the blue radiance instead of 5 just hit here 10%. And now as you can see on our edges we have this cool camera lens blur effect. I will turn off those titles and action save for now. Now hit M again for the mask, open up the mask property and for the mask feather I will type 250. And as you can see in our finals our scene is looking great. Now it's time to pre-compose everything, hit Ctrl plus A or select everything, then go right click to pre-compose, this is gonna be scene or type your own name here and then hit ok and now in our finals when we hit zero animation is looking really cool and really awesome if you want to see particles from the beginning just hit on this scene composition and move it on the left side to see the beginning of animation somewhere around here you can also create longer composition here in the beginning we have created composition of 10 seconds but you can create composition of I don't know one minute or so and hit zero on your keyboard and this is looking great and this is looking awesome. Alright guys that was everything for today's tutorial I hope you learned something new like always if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button also leave me a comment down below in the comment section hit that like button also take a look on my channel to see other great tutorials and until next time, stay creative and bye bye.